Good morning, friends. Uh, today we'll start the our aim number nine, that is the preparation and the standardization of percolating solution, that is by non eco -stratation. As we know, the non eco won't require the water. It, we won't use water here in this titration. So here the reference I have taken from the Stanley and back it itself. So the pin number is written 167 to 168. You can find this uh, on these pages, the non eco -stratation. So first of all, we see uh, what is the theory behind the non eco -stratation is. The requirement you can write as per uh, we have discussed in the previous experiments. So you can write the requirement from there. And the theory of this non eco -stratation is that why we use this non eco -stratation? What is the need of this non eco -stratation is? In the case of weakly acidic drug or weakly basic drug, which uh, won't ionize easily or they feebly ionize, in this case, the non eco -stratation we use to estimate out such type of drug. So estimation of weakly acidic or the basic drug is done by non eco -stratation. This cannot be done in the case of acidimetry or alkalimetry. So the drawback which the acidimetry alkalimetry has is solved by this non eco -stratation. What happened here is uh, in the case of weakly acidic drug, when we use, we use generally the protophilic solvent. What the protophilic solvent do is, this protophilic solvent loves the proton. It will take the proton from the weakly acidic drug. So it will make it to ionize. So automatically, the use of this protophilic solvent will uh, make this sample, which is a weakly acidic drug, this will ionize. So it will ionize, that means it will act as a strong acid. So we can say by changing this solvent or by using this protophilic solvent, we have um, increases the ability of this weakly acidic drug to ionize. Likewise, in the case of weakly basic drug, we use a protogenic solvent. So in this case, protogenic solvent, what it will do, it will give the proton. So it will automatically, when it will give the proton, that means, uh, that means the weak base will act as a strong base. So it will change the acidity or basicity, basicity of weakly acidity of the basic drug, which is used here as a sample. So in this case, we will have the uh, end point, sharp end point. Uh, so this problem which we were having got solved here. And this phenomena by which this uh, lim, uh, that uh, solve, that is a, by the use of solvent, when we able to moderate the uh, acidity or basicity, this is known as labeling effect. So this effect is working here. Uh, that is a labeling effect. So here we have to take the percolatic solution. It is one of the strongest acid uh, that we use in the non eco titration. So it is stronger than that of uh, hydrochloric acid itself. So we will use this perchloric acid for the uh, titration of weakly acidic or the basic drugs. So weakly basic drugs are estimated by this uh, perchloric acid. So here we are taking the perchloric acid solution. So how, first of all, we have to know that how can we prepare so I have already written on this that it can be prepared by uh, taking the commercial perchloric acid. So you, when you will see the strength of commercial perchloric acid, it is already mentioned is 12. So by if we know the normality of the commercial acid, so we can just put it here and volume V1, we have put it for the, what is the required volume. And here we are preparing 0.1 molar solution of perchloric acid. So we have written 0.1 molar and one liter we are preparing. So one liter we have written here, 1000 ml. So volume has come to 8.33 of perchloric acid. So when you will see the literature, it is written and this perchloric acid solution, which is available, it is 72%. That means what is nest in this 72%, that means 72 gram of perchloric acid is present in 100 ml solution. So what is else is there? There may be the water. So what we'll do here is we will take this here 8.3 ml of perchloric acid, which is available in the market in the form of 72% or whose strength is 12 normal. So that is why we are taking 8.3 ml. So 8.3 has come from this calculation. We will dissolve into 900 ml of glacial acidic acid. Here we won't use the water because water uh, will not be used here in this case. That is why we have taken acidic acid. Then we will uh, stir it. Then we add the acetic anhydride. You can see here, it is written 30 ml of acetic anhydride is written here. So 
how it has come out this acidic anhydride is nothing but it will take the water molecule which may be present in the solution this is acidic anhydride you can see the structure if the water molecule is present what it will do it will react with this acetic anhydride and will form the acetic acid again see you can see like this it will form the two molecule of acetic acid see so this 72% uh, perchloric acid that means 28 ml uh, probably it may have the water so we are adding 30 ml of acetic anhydride to adjust this uh, volume if the water is present so afterward we make the volume with the acetic acid then we'll stand it for 24 hours so this is nothing but the preparation of perchloric acid solution how it has been prepared then afterward the standardization standardization is done with the help of the use of potassium hydrogen phthalate which is act as a primary standard here so here this potassium this is a structure of potassium hydrogen phthalate this is nothing but the phthalic acid derivative having potassium salt so this is a potassium hydrogen phthalate when it react with this perchlorate it will form the phthalic acid and the potassium perchlorate so how now you will take this uh, uh, how you will prepare this potassium hydrogen phthalate this prepared solution of perchlorate acid solution you will take in the puree so we have taken hclo4 here this is a perchlorate acid uh, we have taken here now we have to take the uh, potassium hydrogen phthalate which is we are using as a Uh, primary standard so that is how it will prepared this is a molecular weight for the calculation for the potassium hydrogen phthalate it is coming around 204 so for this 204 we require if we have to prepare 0.1 normal and 1 liter solution that means we we have to divide it by only 10 so it will become 2.8 g will be uh, taken for the to prepare the 1 liter solution of potassium hydrogen phthalate but here in this case non equal titration when you will see the literature it is said that um, the amount is taken in 25 ml or 20 ml or 30 ml so whatever uh, amount is written volume is written you can calculate it by this if it is required to prepare for 0.1 and 1 liter solution it required 20.4 so in order to prepare it for 25 ml so that means 2.4 2.04 g is required for 100 ml so for 25 ml that means it will be divided by 4 so both will be divided by 4 so it will come to around approx 0.5 g so that is why here 0.5 g of potassium hydrogen phthalate is taken and it is dissolved in 25 ml of this uh, glacial acetic acid then warm until this solvent dissolves then cool and titrate with perchloric acid solution till end point that means this solution we will take in the conical flask here the indicator that we will select is a crystal violet indicator that is also prepared in glacial acid acid solution then initial the color is found to be blue that got converted into bluish green so initially here we will have the color blue that is converted into bluish green so we will have this uh, titration by taking this 0.5 g potassium hydrogen phthalate so from this we have taken a uh, first reading and this type of weighing that we did is this is known as three way method uh, previously what have we have done is we have uh, calculated the weight for 100 ml solution so that was known as one way method this is known as three way because when we have to determine the normality now you have to repeat this method for three times 1 2 3 so for all these titration you have we are going to have a normality so how you will calculate the normality suppose you have titrated it Uh, with the blue bluish green and you have got the end point that is around 21.2 if this is a 21.2 ml is a first reading of perchloric acid which you have got so how you will calculate a uh, normality of perchloric acid so weight of potassium hydrogen phthalate you have taken that is the potassium hydrogen phthalate that you have weighed out this is written 0.5 g that means you will weigh with the help of chemical balance or analytical balance whatever quantity you will weigh you will write it here multiply by 1000 divided by equivalent weight equivalent weight is nothing but the molecular weight 204 because it is having a replaceable hydrogen one then it is multiplied by the volume of perchloric acid solution that is nothing but the end point so you will get the normality of perchloric acid solution suppose i will take one reading and then i will do the calculation then you will be comfortable that 
what is there so weight of potassium hydrogen chloride suppose you have taken the weight is 0.5128 gram and that is multiplied by 1000 then equivalent weight is 204 and end point suppose you are getting volume of SCLO4 is 21 point so when you will calculate this do the calculation it will come around uh, that is uh, 0.1185 now this is the first titration you have done then again you will repeat it again you will do the same thing you will again weigh uh, uh, accurately weigh the potassium hydrogen thalate transfer into conical flask then again you will titrate it suppose at the second time we are getting the reading approximately 20.1 ml so what will be the next uh, solution you can calculate it now at the second time when you have weighed suppose the weight you have done is 5.028 into 1000 is this is given already 204 is the equivalent weight and 21.2 apart from this now it has come to 20.1 so now when you will calculate it will come around 0.1226 this is the second titration when you will repeat it third suppose we are at the third time you are getting the value of amala you have weighed around 0 0.5002 gram of potassium hydrogen thalate and end point you are getting suppose you are getting the end point uh, approximately again uh, 20.1 20.1 ml you are getting so what you will do is 204 multiplied by 20.1 this will give the reading around uh, 0.1219 this already i have calculated so now you are having the three normality one two three so what you will do this is two this is three and this is the normality one so now you are having the three normality. What you will do now? You will just take the average of this. Average you will take. In this average, what you will do? 0.1185 plus 0.1226 plus 0.1219 divided by 3. So you will you will divide it by 3, then you will get the reading across 0 0.0.1210. So this is the on calculation we are getting this. So today what we have learned is that uh, how we can do the uh, weighing by, uh, we can do the titration by using uh, three-way method. This is a three-way method. This is also one of the popular method for the titration. This is the difference what we have. Now, after in the next experiment, we will use this normality of perchloric acid to estimate out the samples. Thank you.